hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel today's video tutorial is going to be very very unique so stay tuned for that a lot of people make a request asking me to create a report card using excel so this is basically going to be a dynamic one very very dynamic so it's going to be based on data we have in our database right here so the data we have for our students we're going to base on that data to actually generate a report card for them so you just have to select the role of the student you're going to get the name of the student you're going to get the date of birth you're going to get a class the student belong to and it's going to give you the total mark it's going to give you the pass mark it's going to give you the mark obtained we're going to calculate the percentage and then we're going to get the grade as well and then we we'll come and then create a summary for everything and then we know the average percentage for students based on the name we have over here so this is the video we're going to make it's going to be a step-by-step -step approach and remember to like so remember to subscribe if today is your first time visiting my channel and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future video this week is going to be for excel i'll be doing a lot of excel videos so let's go ahead and then do this now first of all we have the table over here which we're going to use this is a database we're going to use to create everything we have the rule we have the number we have the rule the name of the student their date of birth class they belong to we have the subject that they offers in the class we have the subject that they offer so we're going to have this database and we'll use that to create our report so now i'm going to create a new worksheet over here so i'll just go and click on the plus icon here and this is a complete worksheet we're going to work on and we're going to base everything on this database i believe you can create something like this so we just go ahead and create our own report card this way so let's jump into action first of all i'm going to select a, a portion of this i'm going to select a portion like this and i'm going to go to the home button and i'm going to use the paint bucket over here let me just fill here with just any color i prefer you can just pick any color of your choice now once we are done with this we're going to use a text box to do the write-up so the write-up we have over is all based on text boxes so i can just go to the insert button you can go to shapes and then pick a text box from here but it's easy picking it right from here and then i'll just drag across this way and what i'll need to do is to type maybe the name of the school so i'm going to say adjutech academy okay so let's assume this is the name of our school i'm just going to increase the size of this i'll just increase the size of this and i'm actually going to bold in this as well if you prefer to underline this you can do that now i don't want this highlight around it so i'll go to the shape format and then remove the outline that's the no fill and then also remove the outline so basically that is all i want to do here and then just position this in some way i prefer to do it now remember we are just creating this and then we'll come down also to put our reports over there okay so we can just Use the same method, go to insert and use the text box here and then also write report card. So we have the report card. I'm actually going to select this and then also increase the size a bit. For this, I'm going to actually underline this and use the same process and remove the shape fill and then also remove the outline. Okay, so I'll just reposition this something like this and now we move to the next stage. Now we need a row, the student name, the date of birth, and we also need a class. So we can just put that somewhere here. We can just put that somewhere right here. So in that case, I can just expand this a bit and I want. I'm going to pick everything from the database. So I want the row number. I want up to the class. So you can copy this and just copy this. And then when you come here, when you come here we want to paste it so when you right click and you go to paste you select paste special and then when you click on that we're going to use values and then we'll click on transpose okay so we just want it to be in a vertical form and instead of horizontal so it's going to paste everything for us like this and we can just give some spaces between this we can just put some spaces just between this like subscribe if this is your first time because i have a lot of videos coming up now we just have to build in this and then increase the size a bit that's what we want for now now i'm just going to open this cell a bit and over here i'm just going to put in the colon so you can put in the colon for all and also you can decide to build in this you can select this and then we'll actually go ahead and then build in this and then close this space a bit 
Now, the next we're going to do is we want to basically put in this information. We want to actually put a drop down list for our row number. So, we want to create a drop down list. I have a lot of videos on that. I'm going to do that for you to see. So, over here, what we're going to do is that we'll go to data and then we'll go to what? Go to data validation and click on data validation. Select that. And what we're going to do is that from the allow session, we'll select a list. And then from the source, the source over here, we'll go to our data, go to we'll go to our database and then select the row. That is what we need for our database. And we're going to pick that information for us. Then click on OK. And then now when you come here, you should get in what your drop down list. Okay. You can increase the font size. You can put whatever we have over there. So we now have our drop down list. Perfect. Now we're going to generate the student name. We should be able to get a student name, the date of birth, and then a class based on the row that we select. And you know about VLOOKUP. I've used VLOOKUP in most of my videos. So by now you should know that that is going to help us to get that result. I'm going to expand this side a bit because we need to actually get the name and the name is quite long so i'm actually going to put the name over here i'm going to do this using vlookup so i'm going to say equal to vlookup and now the first value we're going to look up for is this so we're going to look for the row within the table bring comma and i'm going to go for the table array so the table array is basically going to be the database we have over here so just select from here you're going to select from here up to here now what you need to know is that we need the name of the student we need the name of the student so we just bring comma after this so this is the formula bar here so the name is from where we have the root the name is on number two so select number two and we want exact match the exact match here isn't zero for exact now we have the true we have approximate so we want zero for that close this and then hit enter so you can see we have john over here so if you go to row number 102 101 it should be getting john okay so john is at 0, 101 so that is john if i go ahead and i select this then it should shape it should change now one thing i want us to take notice we want this particular table to be fixed okay we want it's able to be fixed so what i'll do is i'll select this part of the formula and press the f4 just to make that place tick to wherever i'm going to select the table is going to be a fixed table okay so i'm just going to center align this i can increase the font size also a bit okay so we're going to use the same process to actually get the formula for the rest so in this case i can just copy everything you can just copy everything Okay, so over here, just you need to take note of where you have the date of birth. So date of birth is the next one that is row number three. So when you come here, all you have to do is to paste the same formula. But here, I'm going to change this to number three, and then hit number, and then hit enter on your keyboard. You can see it's going to give us the date of birth. And finally, we're going to do that for the class as well. Okay, the class is in row number four. So the same process over here, let yes, yes, paste this and then change the table here to number four and then hit enter. Now we have everything set. Let's just rename this, our worksheet. Let's just call it report and then hit enter. Now we almost set everything is almost done for this part of our video like subscribe for more video tutorials just like this so everything is changing based on what we have now what is going to happen is that i really want to fix this thing everything is perfect and you just got some information which i'm not expecting i think everything is okay based on what we select i think for anita i think there's a problem with the date of birth and yeah there's a problem over here. I think I have to check it later on. So let's just check what is really happening to that. Okay, for now the rest are working. So we're going to go ahead and start creating this table. So we need to have the subject, the total mark. We also need the pass mark. So I'm not going to waste so much time. I don't want this video to be long. So I'll copy this title over here. I'll just copy them and we'll come down here and then let's paste this here. Okay. So now we're going to just go ahead and then just provide some spaces here. 
to provide some spaces for these tables I don't want this video to be too long so there are certain things I know you can do on your own so I'm not gonna waste my time on everything so I'll just go ahead and then just provide what is needed for you what you will understand I'll just take them through that so if your table is becoming long for this you can just select some portion of this you can select some portion and actually delete it okay you can just delete some portion of uh, you can select some portion of the worksheet and then just delete them i just want to reduce the size so i'll just select and then just delete some portion of this okay so now let's get back to work what i need to do is personally i don't want this color we are using the same color for this so this is what we're going to have now we have up to about one two three four five six seven seven subjects so we can just go ahead and select our subjects like this copy them copy them then we'll come back here we just select we just select this cell right click and then go to paste special and i'm going to select values and then go to transpose then we get our data right there now i'm just going to increase the size a bit bolden this and then we are good to go now we want to create this into a table form so select everything like this and then we'll go to our font and we will add borders to this so select all borders and that is it now we want to get the max so the total mark we know is supposed to be 100 percent okay we want the total mark to be 100 percent so i'll just select this let me center align this increase the size a bit bolding this and then drag the same thing down just drag the same thing down i don't need to bold in this actually and i want to get a pass mark if there's a pass mark we can actually put the pass mark there for now let me just say 50 you need 50 in order to pass center align this and then just drag this down okay so now we almost said i'm just going to reposition certain things just to make the things look professional just read just try to reposition everything now we want to actually get the mark obtained and the mark students obtained is already in our database so they have their respective marks that they obtain over here so that is what we're going to stick to so we're going to use VLOOKUP to pick those information basically from this database. Okay, and so the first mark is what maths, and then we have English in that order. So let's just go so from here. If you start counting from here, one, two, three, four, five, English and maths is on the fifth column. So you can use VLOOKUP to actually obtain that. So we just go ahead right now and then type VLOOKUP. Now, when you select this, we want the lookup value. We're going to base that on the row. We'll bring comma, and we want the table array. So, basically, with the table array, we we'll go to our database. That's where we pick all our information from. We select that. Bring comma. Basically, if you do this, try to press F4 and then just make this table fixed. So, now when you do that, the next we're going to do is to bring the column for our one the column for mass and the mass is on the fifth column so that's five i'll select five and we basically want the exact match and that is going to be zero and then we hit enter so you can see we are getting 68 let me just increase the size a bit center align this now 68 that is for mass and then the student is calvin so we can just confirm this by going to our database so kelvin is right here this kelvin and for months kelvin is getting what 68 let's try this for kofi which is the first number we should be getting 89 so we'll go here and then select 100 so we should be getting 89 so that is perfect so we can just select this go ahead everything we need is now to use the same formula for the rest okay we need the same formula for the rest so i'll come down here and basically paste the same thing over here but we need to just check the table column so the first one our first table column is number five so the next one is going to be number six so make sure you bring equal to before you paste your formula number six the next one is going to be number seven the next one is going to be number eight next one is going to be number nine the next one is going to be number ten 
and the last one is going to be number 11 so that is all we need for the mark of 10 we can just go back and then confirm that just to be sure of what we have okay and just go back to just confirm that if we actually had this correct so we've using kevin for now kevin is having 35 in chemistry you can go back to our database to check that so this is kelvin and then you can see kelvin is having 35 in chemistry and that means everything over here is perfectly working you can go back and then select someone else number four over here that is irene irene is getting 73 for maths we can just go back to confirm this so irene is here 73 and that is exactly what we have now we can just go ahead and play with everything now we need a percentage score so in order to get a percentage score we can just see equal to the mark of 10 divided by the total mark over here and then hit enter it's going to give you in decimal places but you can just go to your number column and then just use the percentage sign you can just reposition this and then increase the font size a bit okay now we are most done with what we want to do so to get this for the rest just drag this down like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so now we'll come down here let's just put in some summary over there and look at the summary of everything the average so you need to have the total marks you need to have the mark of 10 and then percentage so we want to get the average for everything so i'll just come down here and then just do that so let's see total marks we're going to say total marks and we come down and then say let's say marks obtained and then we have the percentage so we want to get a percentage for everything now we just need personally don't need this part of my body so i'll just remove the part of the border and let me just re align this and then use all borders and then i think this part is also set i can increase the font size a bit now we can get the total mark here by just say equal to and we can use the sum the sum here and then we select the total mark here and that is going to give us 700 and then we we'll go ahead and say sum again to get the total mark obtained by an individual student so we can select this part as well hit enter and it's going to give us 521 over the 700 now we need to get a percentage over here so we need to get a percentage and we can use the same method equal to this that's the mark obtained divided by the total mark and it's going to give us this we can just use the percentage side over here so it's giving us 74 so that's the average score for a student. I believe you are enjoying this video tutorial. If you enjoy, like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notification. Now let's go ahead and then select a new student here and can see everything is going to be updated accordingly. Okay, so now let's get a grade. That's the final part of this video. Like, subscribe, and comment at the comment section if you did enjoy this. And I'm also going to show you how you can do some other amazing stuff within this week so like and subscribe for that now to get a grade for every student the grade is going to be based on the mark of 10 and let's just use the if formula to do that so let's say if so if that's going to be the mark of 10 here is greater or equal to so let's say 90 if you get 90 we're going to give you an a then we can say equal to or to quote we're going to say a okay we're going to say a then break the comma and then if again this same mark of 10 over here is greater or equal to this number i'm going to say 75 then we'll go ahead and give you a b okay so that is what we're going to do comma and then we say the next one the same mark of 10 over here is greater or equal to let's say we're going to say 65 then we'll give you a c and i'm going to say the next one is going to be if the mark of 10 here so it's going to be number should be if if the mark obtained here is greater or equal to 50 50 then i'm going to give you a d 
okay so let's be careful with what we type and finally we're going to see if the mark obtained here the mark obtained is actually less than okay so this is going to be less than 50 if it's less than 15 we can give you f or let's say fail okay we can just say something like that so that's going to be say you failed actually okay so we'll do something like this close the brackets we've opened one two three four five okay we've opened one two three four five so we close this one two three four and five and hit enter so you can see the first student is getting a b so let's just center line this and then just increase this a bit and then we can drag this down for the rest you can see everything is well stated here as we want it so our student here we've been able to generate a perfect report card for that okay so we can see everything here is going accordingly and everything is well well perfectly generated we've been able to generate a dynamic report card remember the final work provider is no grid line for the rest so if you want to remove the grid line you can just go to view and then uncheck the grid lines over here now you should be getting something like what i have over here so you can include dates i have the dates over here if you want to do that you can include the dates which you have for a report card if you want to make it dynamic you can actually do that and you know how to generate the dynamic data and all that so this is basically how to generate a report card, a report card. so this is basically how to generate a report a report card based on a database you have for students i'll be doing more videos on excel this week so like i said subscribe so you don't miss any of that like come your week again bye bye